Henrik, welcome back uh, to the show, and thanks for Thank coming you. on. I, I, it's it's so uh, it's so great to have you in person because I knew this event's coming up on Friday. I don't know if I'd be able to see it before it, but yeah. they're retiring your jersey. It's amazing. It's a surreal feeling, it, you know, to have. Obviously, the moment itself is going to be incredible, but yeah. also an opportunity to bring all the people uh, to Madison Square Garden, people that meant so much to me throughout my journey, friends, family, yeah. and most importantly, all the fans that supported me throughout my career. It's going yeah. to be amazing. How many people from Sweden are coming to the Garden? Yeah, Friday? I think as we speak, they're pulling up uh, to the hotel right now. It's what? like 50, 60 people. We're going to be around 100 people at the game, 100 and 30 maybe even so really uh, friends and family lot, friends family uh, a lot of friends in New York and around the states they're yeah. flying in so uh, are you gonna have to say something or no yeah I'm gonna say a few words yeah so we'll see how do that goes you, do you get a, <laughs> do you get emotional um, I do at times yeah uh, I think uh, you know when I played I was super intense I was an intense person, preparation, and playing the game, but I, I felt a lot. I played with a lot of emotions. And now when I'm done playing, you know, I, I still want to feel those emotions, but it will be in different settings, obviously. It won't be playing the game and, and feeling that pressure, but I'm, I'm still looking for other ways to to feel. But look you know? at you. You look great. I mean, you, you left, I mean, on top. I mean, was it, was it tough for you to go? Um, you know, it was not my choice. It was by health reasons, you know, yeah. about a year ago, I had an open heart surgery and it changed everything. Obviously, I, I tried to come back. The surgery itself went really well, uh, replaced piece of my aorta and piece of my uh, valve. Wow. Um, and I tried to come back. Unfortunately, I caught some inflammation around my heart and uh, that just made it too difficult to come back and play. But I was in a, such a good place. You know, I was so happy. I was grateful for all the things I experienced, especially here in New York for, for so many years. So, you know, life's been great, but it's definitely been an interesting year for me, no question. Yeah, I, I follow you on Instagram, and uh, I saw this, this post here, and you said, yeah, yeah, soon. And I go, oh, wow. And then there's a picture of you right here. Yeah. At the time, this is probably where they're going to uh, raise the jerseys, right there. Exactly. So, uh, first picture, you know, looking at that arena, Madison Square Garden, it's such a unique building, right? Because so right. much, uh, so many different things going on in there. Some, some days we showed up to the game and they were putting up the boards because the Knicks played before us. I mean, the turnaround in there is crazy. And you saw some of the best concerts of my oh, life there. You see everything in there, and it's such an exciting place to play. So I feel very blessed, to, uh, you know, to now have that opportunity. Now your number's going up there. Your name is forever. I mean, yeah, you're I know. one of 11 Rangers to be have their jer uh, in the history of the Rangers to have your and, jersey retired. And that's the thing with the Rangers. They original six team. They always t uh, taken a lot of pride in their history, and you feel that as a player. You know, you. You come in as a, a young kid from Sweden, 23 years old, and I see all these retired guys come by and they treat them so nicely. And it means something to them, the history. And, and now to be part of that myself, it's, it's kind of a surreal feeling. But I remember the, the second photo there, I walked up and check it out where my family's going to sit, my friend's going to sit. And right there was all the banners. And that, that was a very special moment for me last week. That's going to be wild when you're out in the ice there. I, I just, uh, I, I know also that you're doing commentating now for MSG. And my question to you is, um, is it tough for you to be not one-sided when the Rangers are playing <laughs> someone, when you're doing an interview? <laughs> so I've heard you just kind of slip a couple times. Yeah. You're like, no, no, we're going to come back and we're going to, I go, you mean the Rangers can come yeah. back and win? It's funny. You know, I think this was a, First or second time I was there, I asked the guys at the sets, like, do we say we or do we say the Rangers? And I was like, no, no, no we, we say the Rangers. Even though we, we're a Rangers channel, we can't say we. I was like, got it. Yeah. Five times I said we. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the entire. <laughs> exactly. It's like I've been doing it for 15 years. You're a Ranger, years. yeah, yeah. 15 years. Yeah. It's we. Well, we, you know? well, we love you. <laughs> Uh, exactly. New York loves you. Hockey loves you. P enjoy every second of it. It couldn't happen to a better guy. Thank and thanks so for much. always uh, being a friend of the show. You're always welcome back. Thank Henrik you so Lundqvist. much. Honor, buddy. Pleasure. Henrik Lundqvist, everybody. Hey, hey.